I'm convinced that you can build pretty much anything in Framer. These past few days, I spent a few hours searching for my favorite sites built in Framer, and I think you're gonna like these. They should also give you some new fresh ideas and inspiration. This first one is a design portfolio. This is Jack Elder dot design. I'm a huge fan of these dark mode portfolios, and I think this designer does a really great job with cool combinations of fonts, and also this moving 3D graphic right here in the hero section. The thing that stands out to me the most about this site is this scroll animation where the white background breaks into different slats and each one moves at a different speed. In Framer, it just seems really easy to make these types of scroll animations that look really complex and impressive, but it's pretty simple to execute. So as we continue to scroll, you see different case studies from this designer. And I love the slight hover effects, how the image gets slightly larger and the cursor changes color. You can also tell that each one has a slight scroll animation where the image follows your scroll, which gives the site just a little more depth. So then we transition back into a black background. And again, we have those different slats of the background moving at different speeds. And then the text comes in as we scroll. As we continue to scroll, some text pops in and then we see another Another really cool scroll animation where all of these different cubes move at different speeds. Now maybe some of these scroll animations might be a bit overkill, but I do feel like it just feels impressive and it gives a cool experience to your visitors. So I definitely give this portfolio two thumbs up. It definitely shows you what you can build with a few simple scroll animations. All right, the next site is willderiftian.com. And the first thing you'll notice is these dangling keys right front and center in the hero section. These keys sway back and forth on their own, but if you hover over them, they're going to interact with your mouse. This is certainly something that I would have to do some research to figure out. It seems pretty impressive, but I'm blown away at the types of things that you can do. Now, whether or not these keys serve any major purpose or are going to help in conversions in any way, I'm kind of doubtful, but the effects are really cool. Now, there are other unique hover effects like this card that flips around and shows the back, and this almost gives me a bit of like an old school feel, but I know effects like this are really easy to do, and there are lots of tutorials out there that can show you how to implement this in a few minutes. The other feature of the site that definitely gives me an old school vibe are these different file pages. And as you scroll, they kind of stack up at the top. This content could easily be organized in just basic sections, but I love the choice to go above and beyond and make it something unique. And the last thing that I wanna mention about this site are these little thumbnails here. As you click them, it opens up a pop-up that just gives you a little bit more information about each one. And I love that you can do this without leaving the current page of the website. These are simply pop-ups that can be closed and you're at the exact same place that you were before you clicked. All right, this next one is kind of fun. This is tigrands.com. This is a motion designer. And I assume that this main section here is some sort of Lottie animation that moves on its own, but also can be activated on hover. These types of animations are becoming really popular because there are lots of third-party tools that can make these for you, and then you can just embed it right in your frame or website. So a really easy solution to get something that looks really professional and complex. There are also a few little things that might get overlooked, but they definitely make a big difference on the overall experience. Things like the cursor changing to say play as you hover over the video. Now when we get down to the work section, they have some really awesome hover effects. As you hover over each different project, it's going to show you a little video animation, kind of like a sneak peek of each project. This is probably something that would traditionally just be shown by a basic thumbnail image and title. And if you wanted to do something like this, it would require like really complex code. But now with tools like Framer, it is definitely a lot more accessible for any designer to create something like this. Now, the last thing that I wanted to point out on this site that I really liked were the hover effects of some of the different titles. So as you hover over this one right here where it says selected clients, you get all sorts of weird icons that show up and it kind of manipulates the text there. And then also at the bottom when you hover over contact or their email, it's just got a little bit of an interaction, a color change, and it kind of makes you feel like every element of the site is alive. All right, the next site is supersonicrun.com. And as I scroll through this, you can see that it's a really like lively, engaging, colorful looking site. And this is just to promote an app. And I actually feel like it's really common for apps to not even have a website or landing page. They just get redirected to kind of like their app listing on the app store. And so for an app to have such an exciting and unique website, is pretty fun. I definitely appreciate the effort that was put into this one. It has a lot of cool hover effects and scroll effects. And this is one that really stood out to me. As you scroll, it's going to highlight different titles and it's going to change the image based on what's highlighted. Now, there are a lot of things that make this site unique. And so I didn't want to point out the obvious, but one thing that I really appreciated 
was the footer down here. There's a little bit of movement. I like how the footer background color kind of blends into the image above. And then for their call to action button, rather than just using basic colors, they've designed it in a way that it feels like it's glowing. And I feel like it just jumps out of the side at you, makes it really, really enticing to click. All right, the next site is the1.amsterdam. So this is a really fun website, really large fonts, um, fun colors and images. And I love that they have the text in the header shuffling through. This allows you to convey a lot more information in that heading without needing to make it super long. Now, each of these different images gets manipulated both by your scroll, as you can see the buildings kind of hover up and down, and then also on the hover of your mouse. You can see that each one is going to have a little bit of movement depending on where your mouse goes. This site's kind of fun because the alignment feels like it's kind of all over the place, and it breaks a lot of rules, which some might disagree with, but I do feel like it makes it stand out. So another thing that you're able to do in Framer is different scroll effects like this, where rather than the page just continuing to scroll up and down on your scroll you have like little panels or things that move in from the side and it makes the website feel like a lot more than just a long landing page it almost makes it start to feel like some sort of slideshow and then the last scroll animation that I want to point out were these images down here as you scroll down the center image is going to start to push the other ones away as it grows until it takes up the full screen. And then you've got some white text that comes up on top of the image. So I think for us designers, the big takeaway from a site like this is that Framer doesn't really have any restrictions. You can do whatever you want, and it's gonna support your creativity rather than making you work within a specific box or grid. And the last site that I wanna share with you is Chris Lund. This one is super fun and quirky, and you can see right off the bat with some of these interactions, it makes it feel like the car is driving along as the little doodles pass it by in the background. From looking at this main hero section of this site, it's really difficult to determine where the boxes are and how things are laid out because you can adjust anything. You can rotate the different images, you can move things around, and that flexibility allows you to create some really fun stuff. The other thing that you'll notice about this site is that little bit of static in the background. You can do a lot of cool stuff like that that just make it feel like everything is moving. And then they've also got some really cool hover effects. As you hover over these images, it's gonna show you the text, and you can really do that with any part of your website. Now, for me as somebody that typically prefers more of a boring and traditional website, I can definitely appreciate what they've done here. And I do think it's important for us as designers and developers to really push the boundaries and try to create things that look completely different than anything else that's ever been done. And I'm pretty stoked about the things that I've been seeing built in Framer. So if you have any other sites that you think I should check out or you want me to check out your own site, just drop the link down below in the comments and I'd love to check it out and it might even make it in my next video. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.